Um, with that, I actually, I want to go ahead and start with our declaration of intention. And just letting everybody go ahead and get into your 12th dimensional shield. So we'll start this evening by just bringing our focus inward into our body. And take your awareness and your attention. And I'd like for you to imagine the back of your head, even place your hand in the back of your head in that indentation in the back of your head, just above your neck. And I want you to imagine that your consciousness steps completely back. Take a step back in your head. Imagine as if with your eyes closed that you're looking at that spot in the back of your head. When you go inward, It shuts off all of the mental mind, all of the noise that's been going on. And just for a moment, you click into the now moment. And you can feel the stillness. It gives you the opportunity to step back and even begin to feel. Notice your body. Is your body jittery with a lot of emotions and energy? Is there a nervous energy that's been moving, whether it's excited or just been busy and now slowing down? Your muscles feel as though they're relaxed. Just come into your body, reclaim your temple, anchoring your 12th your 24th dimensional shield and amplifying the spin of your Merkaba field around you from your heart saying hello to the earth, saying hello to the universe. Command of your space that only that which is in your highest vibration, only that which resonates with your higher self, only that which is in your highest good is allowed to be in your frequency, in your space. That you are commanding your space as sacred. And take your Merkaba field and allow it to expand to the size of your room. Just for a moment, notice the bottoms of your feet. Feel the energy bubbling up at the bottoms of your feet from the energy frequencies of the earth. It almost tingles or tickles. Just bringing your awareness in, and as you do, from your heart, our declaration of intention, but as a group, that we are declaring and offering our service, our heart, our light, to be in the greatest good through this incarnation that we are living in physical form on this planet and our declaration of intention. I declare from the core of our heart, our intention to serve our source. We align ourselves fully and completely to the heart of the one infinite creator. We dedicate this life to being our true heart song across all the cosmos. We surrender our ego now to be in service to the law of one mission, a first cause light, as a pillar of light. In the light of truth, we declare and intend. We are that we are. I am that I am. I am a soul sovereign being and so it is.
Just taking a deep breath. This evening, we're going to take a little bit of a journey through the cosmos. So I'm inviting you to be incredibly comfortable and allow whatever impressions, emotions, thoughts, or feelings come up for you to just present themselves. And as you allow yourself to build your platinum shield underneath you, build the orb and your Merkaba field around you, allowing that spin to increase. And it's creating a vehicle of transportation. And we're gonna transport our consciousness. And I'm just going to ask you to gently imagine that you're in this orb and field of light within your Mer Merkaba field, that it's spinning so fast that you look like a ball of light, an orb of light. And this orb of light is lifting out of your room, through your roof, through the clouds, and through the atmosphere of the earth, and just moving through the atmosphere of the earth out into open space. And you can notice to one side of you, you can see the moon. And as you notice out around you, you begin to become aware of some of the other constellations and planets. Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto. And just becoming aware of just the thoughts and feelings of each one of those as you notice them. And now bring all of your focus, 100% of your focus on the solar logos, on the sun. how bright it is, how beautiful it is, almost like a magnetic pool, calling you towards its heart, its center. And you find yourself floating in your orb right at the edge of the sun. Notice what you feel like being there at the edge of the sun. Is it exciting? Does it feel good? Does it feel like home? Does it feel like something else? And allow yourself to just begin to merge into it. Move through the layers. Notice how in your orb, it's completely safe, comfortable. That your frequency within your Merkaba orb is at the vibration of the sun. So it's safe, it's equal, it's matching. You're just moving right through it with ease and notice as you move through the outer layers into the inner layers, the colors, the movement, the frequencies, the sensations. Feel whether or not the center of it is pulling you strongly or if it's just a gentle current. And find yourself now right in the inner sun. Notice the collective energy of the beings. Bring your awareness to the consciousness that lives there, the other beings that reside at that high frequency within the sun. And just for taking your attention to this, let your attention notice that this is actually a stargate, a portal. So it's actually got a lot of energy moving. There's a lot of coming in and going out like a portal or a port of travel. So there's many, many races, many beings, many energies. And just the first impressions, does it feel like a light field to you or do you sense and feel physical structures?
are you in your orb or are you able to be on a surface? Do you stand, do you sit, do you float if you do? And now, you know that it's time to move through the solar portal. And as you get into your Merkaba field, your Merkaba vehicle and your orb of light, notice the portal. It's huge, it's inviting, it's almost like a liquid plasma. And as you move through it, it just seems to suck you through it and it pops you out on the other side. And on the other side, you find that you're actually in a higher dimensional realm. And I want you just to notice to your left. Notice if you notice a planet there. And as you do, just if you notice a planet, just what does it seem like to you? What energy does it have? What frequency does it have? And now allowing your Merkaba field to get cooled. And as you track your beam through the universe, you're being pulled by your stream of consciousness. And allowing that stream of consciousness to pull you to your star system. It's a planet. And you're there now. And just noticing this planet, what color does it seem to vibrate? Are there moons around it or multiple suns around it? Are there other planetary systems around it? Are there beings coming and going through space or does the space around it seem quiet? And allow yourself to just fly your orb all the way down into the surface into the place that feels most comfortable to you. This is the place that is most appropriate and comfortable for you and you land there, being there now, standing on the surface, experiencing it, feel your feet on the ground. Become completely aware of your feet on the ground. Notice the luminescence of the light there. If it is bright where you are, what kind of light is that light? Notice the difference of that light, how it's a little bit different than Earth. What colors does it have? What sparkle does it have to it if it has a sparkle? What does the atmosphere seem or feel like? And you are surrounded now by some beings that are very close to you. They have a similar form to you there. So you also can feel what it feels like to be in that body, but also you can see others around you within that form. And just notice, do you feel taller or shorter? If your skin had a color, what color would it be? Just spread your hands out. If you had hands and you spread them out, how many fingers would you have? What kind of feet do your feet feel like they are? Are they bigger? Are they narrower? Are they similar? Do they have toes or no toes? Are you on a surface or are you in the water? Or are you in the air? Do you have wings or no wings? Hair or no hair? And when you communicate with the beings, notice how you communicate. If you were to talk with them or share thought with them, how do you share thought?
and just ask them, what is the most important thing I need to know about this place where I am right now? What is the most important skill or energy that I need to remember about this star home? And now teleport in that place. You're going to teleport to the task or the place where you do what it is that you spend most of your time doing. You are going to be doing now the activity in that world, in that realm that you spend the most of your time doing, what you would call your skill, your gift, your contribution, or your job. And you're going to be there doing it now. And just notice, are you with others? Are you alone? Is it physical? Is it on planet or off planet? Are you working with frequencies, with light, with your hands, with your mind, with your intentions, or something else? Do you utilize instruments to help you, crystals to help you, or anything to help you, or do you do it all just from your intentions or your form? And ask yourself, what is the most important thing for me to know about how I move this energy through my body? How can I translate this gift to my human form on earth? And now just allowing yourself to just be within a merged space. Let your consciousness start to become aware of your human consciousness and merge that aspect with you. You have just created a direct link with a higher aspect of yourself. Breathe that in. And notice how that higher aspect of you has an ability or an awareness of knowing the greater galactic neighborhoods or star maps, that it's actually rather common in every other planetary system or sphere to know about moving between planets, moving between different star systems, or even interacting with other beings, other races, and other lines. And just bring that back. That comfort of feeling how much bigger you are than a human being. And within your mind, I'm going to say some words and within your mind, just allowing if they resonate for you to be your words that you speak within your mind to begin to affirm anchoring this into this field. That in this very I am present moment of now, that all programming that has kept the mind shut down, locked down or limited to feeling that the earth was the only thing that was happening the earth was the only place there was sentient life. The earth was the only place that there was information happening, that all of the history in the universe was happening here on the earth. All of the places where there has been limitation or programming, that our history within our mental scape has only included planet earth. We are hereby in this moment canceling and deleting all of those veils of deception, all of those veils of amnesia, lies, or misrepresentation. That in this very moment, we are commanding to anchor, lock, and seal our higher galactic mind into this earth base frequency now, accessing all of our codes, all of our memories, and all of our Akashic records from our solar system and 
from outside our solar system accessing our oversoul Akashic records now. That in this very moment, all of the places were from our DNA, from our earth records, that our records have been manipulated, rewritten, or deleted in any way, shape, or form, that we are the new flash drives of reinserting the earth history back into this earth plane now that we are commanding in this very moment that we are willing to delete all of the limiting beliefs of feeling small, feeling worthless, feeling as though we didn't matter, feeling as though we were bound by all of the history of our past, feeling as though we were bound by the ancestral karma and debt of our bloodline, our family, or our lineage in our earth body, feeling as though that we were helpless or hopeless to change anything on this earth plane. That in this moment, we are hereby canceling and deleting all of those limitations from within our molecular structure and opening ourselves now to the possibility of a cosmic dream, a dream of remembering our family, a dream of welcoming our family home, a dream of being connected again with all of our galactic heritage and reconnecting the earth back with all of the other galactic systems and solar systems within our universe. And allowing yourselves to make the declaration now that in this very I am present moment of now that we are hereby reinstating and re-evoking all of the connection of the grid lines and the Cathara lines that move through the solar system that we are proclaiming that we are here to do the work of reconnecting all of the axitonial lines within our body, the horizontals, the verticals, and the diagonals that correspond with the horizontal, the vertical, and the diagonal ley lines of the planet, that correspond with the Cathara lines of the horizontal, the vertical, and the diagonal lines through the Milky Way system, and all the way through the sun and replicating themselves out into the many different galaxies. And allow yourself for a moment just to see that there's galaxy after galaxy after galaxy after galaxy after galaxy, and they really look like different, different cells within a bigger body. That if we were to look in a microscope at our blood or our body, and look at the cells moving even within our skin, that it would look exactly like all of the different galaxies that are clustered and moving throughout the entire universal body. And just in your heart for a moment, feel yourself anchoring in the older timelines of the earth history 550 million years ago within the fall of the earth from the tara line of the second harmonic universe so the fall when we talk about the fall of humanity the fall of earth the fall of the angelic beings the fall we're literally referring to the earth had such a catastrophe happen within the second harmonic universe, which means dimensions four, five, and six, that it actually got so shattered that it fell in density onto the planetary sphere in which we are living now. And we are reconnecting and reclaiming all of the pieces now that as we are down in this density, what we're doing is we're grabbing and gathering all the pieces. I want you to think of all of the fall is almost as if the earth shattered like a creation of Legos and it shattered and it fell into density and the pieces just fell on the floor on like a wooden floor and just scattered all over the place. And guess what we did? We flew through the sun from our higher dimensional cosmic places through streams of consciousness as orbs and anchored into human forms in order to find those pieces. And we are restructuring 
we are finding all of the pieces and we are rehabilitating, restructuring, rebuilding, reclaiming all of it. And every piece you touch, every shadow you touch, every trauma you touch, every hurt you touch, every lost soul that you find, every spirit trapped within one of the interdimensional realms that connects with you, guess what? If you choose to, now you can see it as one of those Lego pieces that is saying, here I am, help me home. We transmuted by holding it from our highest frequency and vibration and ask your higher self, that aspect of you from your home world, how to move the energy. What frequency is the best frequency for you to move? When you move it, should you connect with it through your heart? Should you connect with it through a different chakra? Should you connect with it through one of the outer layers of your light body? What's the best way for you to move energy? Do you do it with sound? Do you do it with color? Do you do it with vibration? Or a mixture of all of the above? And asking to how to unplug the mind the virus-filled mind from any of the pieces that are found. And each of us has our own gifts and capabilities and ways in which we contribute to this and just allowing yourself to find your unique skill. And for those of you who are guided to actually feel it in your body or bring it into you so that you actually transmute it through you, for some, this is part of the gift is actually pulling it in and actually transmuting it. Asking how is the most appropriate way for that to occur without affecting the physical form or harming your physical body or your emotional body. So it doesn't create sadness, depression, or bring you down or drain you of energy or inflict you with any spirit attachments or illness. There's an appropriate way to move all of the energy and all, all of this is now showing you new ways in which to connect with this. And this is the raising of the vibration of the earth that we're coming into. And each and every one of you knows without a doubt in your heart that the way that you are doing this is through your intentions, your focus, and keeping a high vibration on high elevated thoughts, thoughts infused with joy, thoughts infused with happiness, thoughts infused with compassion, with love, with excitement, with bliss. Thoughts infused with peace and possibility. Neutral, compassionate thoughts that welcomes whatever is willing to be healed in order to be received into a safe space so that it can be that Lego piece that is found and restored back to wholeness once again. That many of the things that are energies that we are finding are just disembodied parts that are seeking a way out of this realm in order for them to have the chance to go through the rehabilitation process. Just like we have all done with all of our shadows. And now I want you to imagine that you're being guided to the most appropriate place within your physical reality. And by this, I mean come to a place potentially in your home or on your property, somewhere that you have the ability to frequent often if you need to or go to in your imagination. And from this place, I want you to imagine that you are connecting your consciousness stream through the sun all the way through your home planet, keep moving it through and watch it. It's almost like a silver string that tethers you and it moves all the way through the higher dimensions, through the galactic and it's moving through the planets, the stars and the systems and it's making its way to the galactic core. And I want you to notice that right from the galactic core, there's the galactic core and surrounding it is the gold flame, the blue flame, and the violet flame. That as the 
pure emanation of God's source is coming out from the galactic center, that it starts to emanate in these hues of this beautiful blue, gold, and violet flames. These are our founder sound frequencies of which all of the universe is founded upon. And connect with the blue ray. This is connected with the mother arc, the mother frequency, the mother energy, the magnetic energy. And pull that strand all the way down. And just allowing yourself to hear the words I say within your mind. We, in this very I am present moment of now, are calling upon the mother arc frequency. We are calling upon mother ray frequency. We are asking for full assistance to help anchor, lock, and seal a vortex of safe passage to be anchored into this very safe place of which we are directed within our physical location and reality. We are asking to please anchor, lock, and seal this portal and vortex now. And I want you just to bring your awareness where in your house, where on your property were you guided to place this vortex. And I want you just to see it. It's a portal, but it's a vortex and it's big. Like you could stand inside of it big and it's spinning with this beautiful blue ray arc of mother. Notice it's mother arc. So she's actually the mother energy welcoming all home. She's creating safe passage for any spirit, any entity, any frequency or anything that you may locate as far as what is being brought forward to be restored and healed. Just anchor it down. And especially for those of you that transmute things through your body, Imagine taking a step into that vortex now. Let it particleize you and notice that any energy you've been holding for another person, any past relationships, any past ancestral debt or karma, any bloodline curses, any implant superimpositions, any deadlight energy within your form, any reversal energy, any illness energy, physical illness energy on a physical level or within the mental or emotional bodies or the light body of your field that is being held there in morphogenetic form. Just imagine all of that and just saying to, to the vortex, all of this I bring forth for healing now. I command that all energy in this space that is not of living light. I command that it enter into this vortex now. This vortex is safe passage for all entities and all beings on this planet who are seeking safe passage. And I command all shadowy beings, all entities, all spirits, or all beings of any shape or form or from any dimensional level that have been infiltrating my space or have attached to me in any way or form that you have no right to this space. You are hereby commanded to leave, and I command that you use this vortex as the doorway out of here. I command this now, and so it is. You have the right to return to wherever you came from or to be assisted home to God's source light. It is your choice. And so it is. And just open all of your molecular structure. Molecularize yourself. Watch yourself turn into full particle form in that light field. Therefore, anything that is not you is just getting sucked out like a tornado, just pulling it up and out of your field, purifying you, cleansing you. And let mother hold you. This is cosmic mother. Let the mother hold you. Let mother support you. Let mother nurture you. You've never, ever, 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 ever once in your entire existence as consciousness have ever been forgotten, have ever been alone, have ever been not wanted or not loved. You have always been valuable. You have always been worthy. You have always been loved. You have always been required. You have always been. 
an absolute part of the wholeness of the fabric of this entire universe. There is not a single moment that you have ever been separate. And I want you to find the wall in your mind that ever, ever, ever felt separate and command wherever there has ever been a veil of deception that we have been cut off, that we were alone, that we were individualized, that we were forgotten, abandoned, or tossed here and forgotten in any way, shape, or form, or disconnected from God's source or all of creation or all of our families in any way, that we are hereby commanding to dissolve all veils of deception. All veils of deception are to fall away now, dissolved now. It is commanded that they all be dissolved and deleted from our programming now. We do not consent to them any longer. We are hereby re-anchoring the truth in our molecular structure that we are a part of the universe. We are a breath of divine source. We are loved. We do belong. We do matter. We did choose this mission. We did choose to be a vibration of love. We did choose to have this experience. We did choose to be the rehabilitation matrix. Because we knew we were strong enough to come to this very moment right here where we would remember all of the lies don't matter to us. We know the truth. You in this very moment have anchored in an absolutely powerful new memory. Reclaiming your memories, your star codes, reclaiming your truth, reclaiming your history. Upgrade your cellular structure now with this new information. Breathe it in. And I'm just going to ask you and invite you to bring it all the way through all of your chakras. So just uh, ask this light to come through and move the mother arc light through all of your chakra systems. Just notice that there are database storage centers that are kind of like hard drives that have been overrun with a bunch of just files and crap. And just let yourself let the solar light, this mother light, defragment everything in there that doesn't serve you and allow it to delete and clear it off your hard drive and update all of your chakras now only to your galactic truth and only to your galactic center. And if you are ready, for those of you who have been doing the work to start to deprogram your, your seed cells in your tailbone from your ancestral mother, so your biological mother and your biological father. So those of you who have been doing the work to pull away from that bloodline and step into your galactic bloodline more. Just let yourself, as much as you're ready to unplug, pull out, or step away to the degree that you are comfortable from that bloodline and that history, if it is appropriate for you. Knowing that this means on many physical levels that you may completely stop communication with all of these things that do not resonate for you, that you may actually completely feel a drop in all the charge of energy that you may have ever held from those beings. And so it's when you are ready, just notice if it feels appropriate or maybe it doesn't feel quite right yet. If this is the energy you can bring in to keep clearing out all of the places you're unplugging all of those strands from your ancestral bloodline. And every time you unplug that energy, stand in the vortex and let Mother Earth reprogram back up to your higher frequency codes. And now, just let yourself build your Merkaba field around you one more time. Imagine stepping out of that vortex field. Know that that vortex field, you could permanently place it within your house. You could permanently place it within every place you go. You could create one all over the planet. And that wherever you have one of those, that you 
are setting a program and an intention for that space that any entities, any shadowy beings, any implants, any things that are of inorganic light and that do not serve the light, that they are hereby commanded and served their eviction notice and that they are being escorted out of that space and that they are being asked to use the vortex to leave that space. And from that vortex, it's a doorway for them that they get to choose. They too have the free will to choose to either return back to where they came from or to be assisted in the reclamation of the restoration of their soul field through God's source light. And as you anchor your Merkaba field around you again, just bringing your awareness into your physical body, feel how much bigger you may feel right now, how much stronger, how much straighter, how much more confident or assured you may feel within yourself right now, empowered with your gifts and capability, maybe even excited to start to implement some of these new skills that you have. And so as you do that, just gently, we're going to bring a little bit more of our consciousness back into this space. And before I open up into us sharing a little bit of our experience, I'm just going to share a little bit of conscious information and you may hold this high elevated energy while I share this. But in this energy, that you can get an imprint and an understanding that we are all operating within a set pattern. And this is why nature is so important for us and such an important teacher for us and why our ancestors always relied upon nature. Nature has always operated and been confident in itself of who it serves, what its purpose is and what it does. And it naturally operates within the universal codes, the universal rhythms, the seasons, the patterns and the sacred geometry. And I'm going to invite a step into this scape of seeing the golden mean ratio. That the golden mean ratio is a pattern and a spiral that moves throughout every organic thing within creation. And this organic golden mean spiral that happens is actually a spiral of if you saw how your DNA is repattering, rewriting and repattering itself through your physical form, you would actually see that it's spiraling within what is still the golden mean ratio. And the reason why I want to tie this in is because when you get a chance, I would like for you to read the, the newsletter or the blog and there's a, uh, a GIF uh, which is a picture in motion that shows how when you actually watch the Milky Way galaxy as it's spiraling through space, that it's actually also every single planet is spiraling in a golden mean ratio, that each one within each other is spiraling as a, an entire uh, heavenly body in the golden mean ratio. And that we can actually start to see that the galaxies, the planets, and the stars, and all that is moving is actually moving just like our DNA in our body. And as it moves through, it's picking up the information of everywhere it goes. That's why your memories resonate with certain things. You resonate with certain things. So I just, for those of you that your camera's on, I just, I want to ask if you did read the newsletter, did any of you happen to do the project of starting to trail your, your kind of map of awakening in this, in this incarnation? Awesome. So the map of 
awakening, that map of awakening is really starting to say what's the first things. And this, this could be a whole number of things. This could be anything from the first crystal that you were ever drawn to or the first place on the planet that you were ever inspired to go travel to or visit. It could be the very first shamanic journey. And um, I actually put a picture up on the blog so that you could see a rough draft. I put an outline on there of my process that I went through on it so you could get an example of it. And that's just a portion of it. It just, and as much of it in chronological order as you can see, because you're actually going to find out that all of these things are going to be part of what is bringing back your memories and also part of what is showing you what your DNA lineage and heritage is connected to. And in the chat right now, for any of you that did do any of that process, if there's a couple of things that you maybe wanted to place in there, because you're going to find that uh, if you read the one that I put up, and I'm just going to read a couple, a couple of the things on there just so you get an idea in there. Um, but there was energy from Hathor, the Octorians, the Lemurian energy, blue frequencies, gold frequencies, uh, Mount Shasta, Lyran energy, feline energy, avian energy. Uh, so when you start to read all of this, you're going to actually find that it's going to start to correlate with, say, the Emerald Order or the Gold Order or the Amethyst Order. So you're going to get a little bit more of a connection of what some of the energy is that you're holding. And I want you to just feel if there's multiple strands in there because some of the energy in here is actually coming from, say, the Gold Order and the Emerald Order, right? So know that there's a lot of hybrid energy that has happened or cross energy that has happened. Underwater dreams. Oh, awesome. So a lot of water, water energy. Yeah, beautiful. Um, you know, I've known people that have been just so connected with, say, the dolphin community or the cetacean community or, you know, a, a lot of like the shamanic practices, people get really connected with certain animals and the animals also come from different star lineages. So think of planet Earth as a living library. We've all heard this before, being able to fly, awesome. Uh, and as a living library, there are many, 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 many star races that have come from all three of those orders that have co-created together and shared their DNA with not only the angelic human race, so we actually hold a little bit of all of them, but we're going to find that our energy maybe pulls towards one, maybe a little bit more than the other. And as you start to feel this energy, you're going to know that if you're attracted to certain animals on the planet or different um, uh, crystals or things like that, you're going to feel that those actually are going to start to resonate with one of these different lines. They're just part of the energy. So I'm inviting you to do, to do that practice to start to see it. So a lot of the Emerald Order energy and the, the energy that has come from the Emerald Order, I just want to touch on this one a little bit today. So if there's aspects of you that are drawn towards the Essene energy, um, I will say that the dragon energy I will tell you, it is such a high vibration, and it, they come in so many different forms. They're on so many different levels. Beautiful, bright colors. Oh, beautiful. Whales, cougars, ladybugs. <laughs> so the dragons are actually luminaries. They, most of the time, don't actually even exist in a physical form. So they are part of the creator realm that is expressing in this reality. And they move through all of the different realms and they step down within different types of vibrations into the different densities. And they do take different physical forms. The dragon forms have been part of the influence within many of the avian lines and many of the reptilian lines and the snake lineages and all of this. 
And part of our job, we're not gonna do it too much today, but I'm gonna start to plant the seed inside for you guys that we actually are on the forefront of getting to dispel and, and clear all of the negative energy around the word reptilian. And I've, I've, in my process of learning, have also coupled a lot of negative connotations onto the word reptilian. But I'm gonna tell you that the idea and the concept of reptilian is to say that there are so many species across the cosmos that are of this heritage. And I'm gonna say that a vast majority of us here in this group also hold this lineage within us. But it's as, as much as saying, oh, well, that's a human. Well, there's all kinds of different humans on the planet. Or that's um, an earth being. Well, there's all kinds of different sentient beings on planet Earth. So I want to just invite that we're going to start to uh, start taking away the idea of um, uh, doing broad concepts of people. It's the same as when we started deprogramming all of the shadow form around like uh, group judgment, like saying, oh, women do this or men do this, or people from this country are like this, or people from this nationality are like that. Notice how that's like a collective thought that we throw everybody into a bucket and create a judgment on it. And so I just wanna to start to allow us to disseminate all of that so that we can actually start to really truly see which lineages are bad and we don't throw everybody into one bucket because it makes it easier for you to start to embrace a lot of your lineage that has come through you. And so a lot of the, the energy from the Emerald Order, they all seeded within the Lyran. Uh, the initial place was a lot of seeding within the Lyran cradle. And when we think of Lyra, we think of feline, but there's actually multiple different forms that came into being within there. And from the Lyran Wars that happened, there's actually, it started spreading out. And I would say that there's quite a few of us that actually migrated through the Sirius star system. The Sirius star system is where a lot of the Christos energy comes from, the Maji Grail energy. This is a lot with the Emerald Order energy, the energy of the feeling, if you feel drawn to, reconnecting and healing the planet, resetting grid lines, resetting timelines, rehabilitating different aspects of the planet. And I know you can feel a lot of that energy for me. So any of that energy that you resonate with, that's going to be part of that order. So I just want to invite you to the possibility and to the the new knowledge within you of starting to embrace some of potentially your Syrian lines your Lyran heritage, because many of us have come through that and then moved through different ways. Some may have chosen to move through the Pleiades or even have chosen to maybe even move through some of the Orion systems in order to help rehabilitate some of those places. So all of the things that come up for you are gonna to start to give you clues and triggers. And as you do, let yourself catch what's triggering you in this life. I told you guys a while back, it took me a while to ever be able to even uh, be presented by some of my past experiences or memories because there was a concept or still a limitation and a belief of maybe what a mantis being was like, or maybe what some of the benevolent reptilian beings were like. So then I wasn't able to grab that history, those memories, or that information yet. So just, I'm offering you the opportunity to start to dispel some of that energy within there. And with that, also just saying that this really has to do with your, um, just with your heart, your core, that underneath it all, all of this information is great. And we're gonna actually start getting into this next month as we go, we're gonna, next month, we're really gonna focus on healing the mother wound, healing all of the places in us that ever felt undernourished or underloved, 
in any way so that we can become strong so that we can anchor in the divine mother energy and when we get through all of that to restore that that in june we're actually going to take the energy of the honoring of the father in june and allow june to be healing the father wound so that we can create the restoration around that energy so that we can create the hero gamas union of the divine mother and father in this realm because as we are taking all of this information you guys are working at such a high level right now with these codes and this information i really want to invite you take what you're doing get your memories back and as you do let yourself just move through being able to present it i'm watching each and every one of you starting to step in more and more to doing what you came here to do and even watching your auras get so much bigger watching you light up by sharing your gifts with others so I just want to honor that right now to say thank you so much to you guys. I love you guys so, so much. You, you are my whole reason for being here to be able to, to share and to reconnect with you guys again. And with that, I want to bring our sacred circle to a close this evening.